Hey everybody, it's Michael from GetFitOver40.com and this is the beginning of a, well it's going to be at least a one week video log and I haven't really talked about it too much but back in June I completed what I called a prep which was a prep for my contest, my physique contest and I know I've been kind of quiet about this whole physique contest you may even wonder if I was even doing it well, the fact is I am doing it and uh, it's five days away and I'm recording this on my iPhone my iPhone 5, because that's what I have right now. And so uh, the quality may or may not be as good. It's hard to say. I mean, these things are pretty good. These little camera phones are pretty awesome, but it's the front-facing one so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to be taking or doing day-by-day -day video logs, um, just thoughts, what's going on. So I thought I'd update you. What? Where am I right now? What's happening right now? Well, we're five days out. It's kind of getting real. Uh, I've been, you know, doing all the things I need to do, figuring out what I need to do last minute. I've got all my hotels, hotels booked, tannings booked. Obviously, I've, I'm signed up for this competition. Uh, I've got tickets for a few family and friend members that are coming. Uh, the diet is, is in place. Right now, we're on the carb. I guess we're on the carb cut. So I'm not allowed to eat carbs. So I'm kind of miserable. I'm kind of tired. I'm pretty low in energy. Uh, I'm trying to eat. Basically, all I'm eating is protein and vegetables and it's pretty tough when you're looking at fish a little bit of chicken uh, some egg whites and just a whole bunch of vegetables it gets sorry i'm gonna switch arms it gets tiring it it's hard to eat a lot of calories i'm lucky if i can eat anywhere from say 1500 to 2000 calories a day and i'm burning easily 3000 or more a day because i'm still working out so we're, this week we're going to lose a little bit of weight it's just it's just going to happen there's not much you can really do about it. Um, and that's okay because I still got a few pounds. I wouldn't mind maybe a pound, pound and a half of fat to lose. And then two days prior to the contest, I get to eat the carbs again, but I can't have any salt whatsoever. So no hot sauce, none of that good stuff. But the carbs come back in. So that's kind of cool because I'm really wanting carbs. I mean, everything, anything that's got a carbs in it is looking amazing to me right now. Sometimes I'm even hungry, but I don't even feel like eating meat or vegetables because I'm just sick of it right now and it's only been a few days it's pretty amazing how the body craves certain things that it wants so two days out from the competition I start to well what I've been doing is I'm water loading right now too I'm drinking more water than I need and then two days out we bring the carbs back in so you kind of fill the body in and we cut the water so the water cuts out and that's that whole thing the whole reason you wonder why am I talking about this that's what you got to do this whole contest preparation is kind of insane it's really not even healthy. Um, you know, I'm trying to explain to my children about this. Like, you know, they're asking why I'm doing this crazy stuff. And I'm like, this just, know this. It's not good for you. This is not good for your body, what I'm doing. And it's not good to be this skinny. And it's not good to, to deprive yourself of certain foods and water and all these things. I said, this isn't, that's the bad side of what I'm doing. But the good side is, you know, I've trained all this time. I put all this muscle on. And the whole point of this is to show off that muscle and to get rid of as much water and fat and skin and everything around that muscle as possible so that it shows on stage. And I said, that's the point. I said, it's a very short term thing. And no, it's completely unhealthy. Uh, I don't recommend anybody do this unless they're doing a fitness competition. So that said, um, you know, we're doing pretty good. My weight, um, if you remember the contest prep video I made back in June, I'll see if I can link to it if I remember. <laughs> Um, that uh, I was down to about 193 and uh, you know I, I thought I was somewhere between five and six percent body fat it's hard to tell it really is the scales don't really do they don't really tell you the truth and um, anyways I'm under 190 now I'm you know it depends on what time of the day I weigh myself I could be anywhere from 186 pounds to 189 pounds and I'll probably step on stage close to 180 because I'll be water deprived maybe even under 180 it's not a true weight, keep that in mind, because you're water dehydrated. But I'm going to be, I'm, I'm the shrinking man. I'm the incredible shrinking man right now. Clothes are starting to feel looser and looser. But, you know, you, you take the shirt off, you step in front of the mirror, and it's like, Wee! it's like the holy grail because everything shows. And um, so I'll give you a little idea of what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm not even anywhere close. I've still got a lot to do. But, you know, everything starts to get really defined. And uh, because, you know, you don't have any fat on you and, you, and pretty soon I'm not going to have any water in me. So it's going to be pretty, pretty scary, I guess. Um, so I'm going to be doing these little daily video logs and I'm going to be posting them from my iPhone. So I don't know about the quality and 
intros and all those outros and stuff. It's probably going to be fairly basic, but I'm hoping to do something every day just to give you an idea of how things are going. And especially, you know, when I'm there in the competition, when I'm there booking into the hotel and stuff and booking in to the competition, maybe after I get my spray tan, all of those kinds of things, I'd like to be able to share that with you. And it's easier if I do it from my phone and I don't have to do a lot of crazy editing. So I may use something like iMovie on my iPhone just to put it together real quick and upload it to YouTube. But that's the plan. So this is the first video. I don't even know how I'm gonna get this up to YouTube at this point. I'm sure I'll figure it out, but this gives me time to figure it all out. All right, I'm at what, five minutes, 41 seconds here. So I'm gonna sign off. I'll talk more tomorrow and give you an update on how things are going. All right, talk to you later.